I'm gonna go to right view and return to my box mode. Now a quick tip, make sure that under select your selection filters, the select through is always checked. So moving forward, I'm going to create a window selection. Now the shortcut for window selection is 1. So take note, this is now fully selected. I'm going to go to right view once more. Right click and select edit form. So I'd like to follow this form. I'm going to grab our arrow and move this one here. Next, I'm going to go to Selection Filter and select Vertex. I'm going to create another window selection and grab our arrow here. Another window selection, moving this one here. Hitting OK. Next, I can select this edge and double left click. So it now selects the whole ring. Going to right view. And I'm going to right click and select insert edge. I'm going to grab our slider and move this to the left. Release. And hit OK. Next, I'm going to rotate. And see our bottom. I'm going to go to Symmetry, selecting Mirror, Internal, selecting this face and this face. So notice the green ring is now our Symmetry line. So another example, I can also click this one and this one. Now, I'm going to select this face and Control left click this face, going to Right View. I'm going to right click and select edit form. So we are now under vertex selection. I'm going to go back to selection all and select this face says once more. I'm going to hit alt. Now holding alt will add another material. So grabbing our planar handle. So release alt. Release here, Alt once more, and positioning this one, Alt, and click. And finally, releasing here. Let's now refine the position of our edge and vertices. I'm going to zoom in here, creating a window selection. Moving this one here. Same here. Same here. Same here. Moving this one. This one. This one. Going to vertex mode. And going to all. Window selection here. Going to vertex mode, window selection, moving this one here. Going to all, hitting Alt 3. So this is now our initial form. Let's now add additional resolution at this areas. I'm going to go back to box mode. I'm going to double click this edge. So if you're having difficulty, you may go to Edge Filter Selection. I'm going to hit OK. Right click and select Insert Edge. Going to Right View. I'm going to grab our slider and position this one here. Or type in negative 0.5. Hitting enter, inspecting, going back to box mode, I'm going to right click, select edit form and go to vertex mode, I'm going to create a window selection here, move this one here, 
selecting these vertices, hitting OK. Next, I'm going to double left click this ring. So notice it did not went through. I'm going to right view, right click, insert edge, and move this one here. Negative 0.3, keying in, hitting OK. Next, I will insert additional points. So notice I have icons here. Now to place this icons here, you can go to each of the icons. For example, I can select this arrow pointing up to add this one to our toolbar. So I'm going to select insert point. Selecting this point and selecting this edge. Hitting OK. And because we are in symmetry, it added another point on the other side. So going to right view. So going to smooth mode. Now let's add additional tension here. I'm going to go back to box mode. And double left click this edges I'm going to right click and select insert edge I'm going to move our slider here around 0.8 and hit OK so if you're curious on how to straighten edges up I can double click this one right click and select edit form and grab this scale handle so I'm going to grab this one and key in 0 Going back to smooth mode to inspect, 